3DR Solo without leg extenders. You can see the gimbal is like right on the ground. You can't even put your fingers under it. I went up to M4 tonight and I printed these guys with Kevin's help. Thank you, Kevin. And Steve. No, it's Steve there. But yeah, so uh, I pulled it up. Steve went ahead and pretty much started the program and Kevin finished it and printed it for me. So thank you again guys. But yeah, we're going to put it on the 3DR Solo. This is the one I was talking about that was going on. So you see what I'm talking about, how that gimbal is? It's like <laughs> right there on the... Can't even put one finger under it, honestly. This will probably be a tight one under it. So, Alright, so we'll do a video of when they're on there and see the difference then. So you just grab this guy and flip it around, pull it right off, and you take your 3D printed one, line the guys up and just go on. <clears throat> and they have the other three on. Oh wow. Amazing. That that is wow. Look at that. You put your hand right under that gimbal now. And my hands are not small, so nice. Really, really nice. Really, really, really nice. I like that. And I don't care about like the the, the quality to me looks good. Like you got some stuff I could go around and trim off of it but shoot I don't care about that that's awesome pretty sturdy to be honest with you I thought they'd be a little they move a little bit like this I guess that one might that leg might loosen there but you're not you figure it's not going they just land and take off with them so there's not going to be no major land unless you come down real hard which I don't never do but yeah, wow. Thank you guys. This is what, I, like I said, this is what I was looking for. So now you can see the difference of the height versus that gimbal being right on the ground like the video I took before this one. So there you go, 3DR Solo with 3D printed leg extensions from the site Cura. So, all right, thank you for watching.